Hello and welcome to the counselor overview for the online scheduling link generator. This is a system that enables you to create a custom link that highly refines the patient's process as they are scheduling an appointment online. So it gives you a great deal of control to determine what the patient will see, what their options are, and how the referral source will be tracked through that process. So what we'll do is we'll show you the basic setup and talk through some of the application as we go along here. So first we'll go by click on administration and then clinic list. Then you can go ahead and edit a clinic. Then select advanced uh, settings in the tab uh, toolbar. Then select the schedule settings. There's a few steps to get into this area. And then lastly here you'll click on online schedule. So this is where your settings are created regarding your online scheduling uh, setup. Uh, we'll look at the bottom here and you can see, uh, as you've seen before, there is the, uh, the setup for uh, uh, generically um, uh, the patient bill to schedule appointments online, right? Company-wide, so show you all your clinics or a clinic specific link. But let's take that to the next level. Let's click on the advanced tab. This is where the, the uh, link generator is located. It allows you to decide whether you want to create a direct link. This would be a link that you would put perhaps in an email. Uh, that maybe if you are recommending the patient come in for a cleaning check, you may include a link specific uh, so that when they click on it, the only options they see are related to cleaning checks, right? Just as an option for you. Uh, versus here, uh, the embed option, this is where you actually have uh, the code available to in embed it within your clinic website, right? So both of these options may apply, just depends on how you wish to use them. But let's look at the direct link here first. So you can decide, do you want to create this direct link for all your clinic locations if you have multiple or single? Uh, and it'll, it'll show you every uh, clinic where you have online scheduling activated. Uh, you can then decide if there's a specific referral type that you want to use. So let's just grab clinic website here. Uh, then there's also a, an, an option here to define the appointment category. And I'll show you the setup on that in just a moment. But basically this is saying is, do you want to group some of your appointment types? So let's say you have three different types of um, clean and checks maybe in warranty, out of warranty. I'm not sure exactly what your different options would be, but uh, it may be a, a grouping of uh, autological evaluation, right? So different, different appointment types there. And you would like to say, you know what, when we send this link out or we have this embedded code, I just want to show the audio related appointment types, right? Let's just grab that type, okay? So you can decide whatever that, you know, may be, and that will refine the list. And, or you could use the appointment type and say, you know what, we just want to narrow this down to one appointment type. That's really all I'm looking for here. Right? So you could say, well, let's leave that alone, but let's focus on a type or we'll expand this to the whole group, whatever works uh, the best for what you're, what you're aiming for, I guess. Uh, but once you've made your selections, you click on generate link. Here you'll see the newly created link. You can just click the copy button. You don't have to highlight it. You just click the copy button. That will copy it to your toolbar or I'm sorry, to your, uh, to your uh, clipboard. And then you can copy it wherever you need, or if you need to provide this to a web designer or anyone you're working with, uh, or you're gonna put this into an email template, uh, you can of course go right from there. So, and then you can move on. You could say, oh, great, I've got that link. Now I wanna create another version that's specific to this appointment type, right? And then generate the link. Uh, they'll look very similar, but they are, of course, different. Uh, and as you go through, you can generate as many links as you want. You can come back later on. Maybe you'll find that, hey, there's some referral sources that maybe we want to add in. No problem. Go back to the administration, add in the referral sources, come back into this tool, and create as many links as you like. Okay? Uh, the other option here, as I referenced before, is the embedded code. This is what's used within your clinic website. Uh, so if you wanted to create that, then you would generate, and this will look a little different, right? Uh, this is something you'd provide to your web designer, or if you design your own website, uh, you would understand what, you know, how this is used. Uh, but this can go right into your website to generate the ability for the patient to uh, start their online scheduling process right from your site. Okay, so that's the process for uh, selecting generating the links and embedded code, uh, as well as some general ideas as to how uh, they may be used. For the last part here, I wanna look just very briefly at this appointment category. This is where, like I said, you can set groupings of appointment types. So for that, we're gonna go into administration once again, and then uh, appointment types. Within each appointment, uh, each appointment type, I should say, there is the ability 
to define, def, define a specific category within each. So uh, we're not, right now we're in the appointment type administration. I'll click over here on online schedule. This is where you can activate or deactivate specific appointment types uh, for online scheduling, right? So you can say whether or not a certain appointment type is available uh, through online scheduling. Uh, but within that, you can define a specific category. So let's look at uh, one we've already created here. So I'll edit this top one, the audio eval, and then we'll click on online scheduling. And you can see that we've added uh, the category of audio. Now you may have recognized that from back when we were generating the links, this was one of the options. Now, what you can do when you're adding these is you can start typing in whatever it is you want. Now, if you've already entered a category, in this case, we'd enter auto previously, it shows it as an option. So you're not recreating each time, but you could add something new, right? That's not currently on the list, okay? Um, and then it will create it as a category. So the next time you go to um, perhaps edit, let's grab this third one here. Once you go to add something here and you start typing it in, you'll see that's now available from the, from the list. So it's a very flexible list of uh, categories which then, like I said, has the ex exclusive use uh, of helping you create that, uh, that link uh, so you can have groupings of appointment types if you wish. Okay, so we feel like this will be a, hopefully a, a very flexible tool for you for generating those custom links, for using them with emails, uh, whether they automated emails or on demand, as well as embedding uh, the scheduling options within your clinic website. If you have any questions, we're very happy to assist you. We're we'll happy to talk this through uh, and make sure that you know we're helping in any way possible to make this uh, a highly efficient, effective tool for you. So thank you very much for joining us for the online scheduling link generator overview.